Today we have Kang Shi Fu hot and spicy beef noodles. I have never had this before. I'm quite excited to give it a go. It cost 85p, which is ridiculously cheap for a noodle. Pretty much like all the Kang Shi Fu noodles, they're exceptional value for money, at least where I live. I have had Kang Shi Fu noodles before, but the only ones I've had have been the bowl noodles. And with those instant bowl noodles, you just put hot water on and it cooks. I think that they make the noodles differently for instant bowls generally. And I always find that the quality of the noodle is worse on those instant ones because on those other two instant bowls that I tried the noodles were what let them down I'm really hoping that this one will have better quality noodles but we'll just have to give it a go and see if my expectations can be met okay let's have a look at the packaging here first of all I think the color scheme is amazing on this I think the graphics look excellent I think the serving suggestion looks nice I think the typography there is a bit iffy but other than that the overall quality of this and how attention grabbing it is I think is really good this is exactly the type of noodle I want to lift off the shelf. And I think the theme is continued on the back as well. I really like the graphics here. They look really smart. A bit of silver foil here, a notch there for tearing it. I just think this is probably the highest quality looking packaging of any Kang Shi food product that I've ever held anyway. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to tell you about the ingredients or the cooking instructions, despite there being a sticky label on, which, which usually helps me uh, because the sticky label is all in Spanish. So we have Chinese and Spanish. So I'm not gonna be able to help at all today, unfortunately. I'll just have to use my imagination I think to work out what's going on here but yeah overall I think the packaging looks great I'm really really excited to give it a go and fingers crossed the noodles are good and and hopefully the soup is good as well let's open it up and see what's inside actually because it has a notch I'm gonna give the notch a go and see what happens okay that was pretty successful Okay, got some noodles there, which first impressions look a bit thin. Some flakes, we've got two packets, which I'll take a look at, and some crushed bits. Okay, let's have a look at these noodles. Okay, I think those noodles are unfortunately pretty thin looking. They don't look that much different to the instant ones. So my expectations are slowly coming down, but fingers crossed, they taste better than they look. Let's have a look at these flakes then. Okay. So first impressions, there were quite a few crushed small little flakes there, which usually indicates that it's not as good quality, but the big flakes in there look amazing. Those little bits of beef look great. And then the large flakes just look so real. I think they look brilliant. I'm quite impressed. Really nice range of colors as well in that, which I really like to see. My expectations are creeping back up now. Okay, let's have a look at what's inside this. I think this might be the soup base. Oh yeah, it is, right, this is the soup base. Okay, that looks fairly generic. Looks like any soup base. Let me give it a smell. Whoa, oh my goodness. That smells like powdered ginger. In fact, it sort of smells a bit like fresh ginger, if I'm honest, it's that pungent. Really nice though. I'm getting quite a bit of pepper as well. Definitely very, very fragrant. There's some aromatics in there, quite a few. That smells way more fragrant than I was expecting it. Um, but other than the sort of ginger and pepper, I can't really pick out any other aroma. But it smells quite nice. Oh, I think I got a bit of chili at the end there, actually. That does smell really nice. Okay, I think this is a paste of some sort. I'm quite excited to see what this is. Some sort of soup base paste, maybe? I don't know. Right, it's quite chunky. There's a lot going on in here. I think I'm just going to cut this one. That looks really nice, whatever it is. Okay, the smell of that is extremely pungent, whatever it is. It actually looks quite nice. I'm just gonna give it a sniff. Hmm. So my first impression was that it smelt of beef, really strong beef, and then I went in for another sniff, and my second impression was then it smells of chicken. Let me smell it again. 
Yeah, I'm going to be honest, if I close my eyes and smell that, it smells like chicken stock. Really, really nice chicken stock. A little bit like the last Kang Shifu one that I did, which was the chicken noodle soup. Uh, I remember it didn't look great in terms of a paste, but it smelled amazing. I'm getting a really chickeny smell off this, which I appreciate it is not what we're expecting with a spicy beef noodle, but it smells really good. There's a real depth of flavour in there. It does smell like a real stock that's been reduced for ages and ages. Mmm. Really, really nice. Can't wait to give that a go. So my next dilemma is going to be how to cook this. I'm going to try and Google a little bit and see what I can find. But failing that, I'm probably just going to have to dump everything in and cook it up and just see what happens and guess as much as I can. But let's give it a go and see what happens. This looks amazing. I couldn't find any cooking instructions on Google, so I just cooked it in 500 mils of water for three minutes, and I just dumped all the ingredients in together. I'm a little bit worried that I might have overcooked the noodles, which do look pretty thin. But having said that, the smell of this is incredible. I'm really, really looking forward to this. I'm just salivating and I have been the whole time it was cooking. I'm gonna start just by smelling this and seeing what I can pick out. Hmm, it really doesn't smell anything like it looks. When you look at that, you think it's gonna be this sort of just spicy, chilly bowl, a bit reminiscent of Shin Ramyun. I think that's what, kind of what it looks like. But when you sniff it, it's really, really fragrant. That ginger really comes through. It's so aromatic, completely nothing like what you expect just from the look alone. I was getting a little bit of a beefy smell just at the end of the cooking as well, but whenever I smell it now, I do kind of think it smells a little bit like chicken still. But the only way to tell how this tastes is just to give it a go. Here goes. Wow. Okay, first sip, salty, spicy, really, really fragrant. Mmm, definitely spicy. Definitely a bit of onion in there. Really, really nice and aromatic. Mmm, it does actually taste a bit beefy. The soup is really, really good. You can see a lot of fat on the surface of the soup. To me, that just indicates how good that paste is. Really good quality. Mmm, wow. I'm not joking. I could sit and drink that soup all day. That is so nice. Mmm, spicy beef broth. This is delivering exactly what it said on the packet. Mmm, really nice. Those flakes have rehydrated as well. They look brilliant. Don't know if you can see them. Huge, but I'll save them for later on. Gonna have a look at these noodles now. Cannot wait to try these. Right, here goes. First bite. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness those noodles are better than those bowl, instant bowl ones. These are a lot more reminiscent of the normal instant noodles that you generally would expect. Shin ramen, that type of thing. Yeah, they're definitely on the thin side, which is not really to my preference. So they're not as bouncy and, and nice as the Shin Ramyun ones, for instance, but these aren't bad noodles. I can tell immediately that they aren't bad. Those noodles are doing a brilliant job of carrying the flavor. They seem to have really absorbed a lot of that flavor. So each mouthful is nice and seasoned, nice and salty. Mm. Salty, beefy, oniony, chili, really, really nice. Mm. And as always, towards the end, flavors change, gets a bit stronger. Wow. Let's try some of these flakes as well. Wow, the texture of that was like real cabbage. I'm not sure there was any flavor though. Okay, that one actually tasted of cabbage. That was good. Mysterious yellow cloud, as usual. A Kang Shifu staple. Yeah, really nice, really savory. Managed to find a bit of beef as well. Let's try that. Mmm, wow, that was like real beef. That was really, really strong in flavor. Mmm, I'm quite impressed by those. They were good flakes. Mmm, definitely gets even stronger towards the end. Really, really strong, salty, really savory, really Moorish. You just want to keep going. Well, that was really, really good. 
I was really hoping that the noodles would be better than the instant ones, and they absolutely were. They were good noodles. They really didn't disappoint in any way, like some of those other Kang Shifu instant bowl ones. The flavors of the soup, as usual from these Kang Shifu noodles, really, really great. I can't really fault the kind of flavor of the soup. It was really delicious. I wanted to keep going back for more. It was really fragrant, more so than most noodles. All in all, I think the quality of that was really good. If you told me that that was a Nong Shim noodle, other than the look of the noodles, if you told me that was a new product from Nong Shim, I would have believed you. It was that good. It was, you know, really solid. Where I think this falls down is, are the flavors really memorable? Are the noodles even really memorable? I mean, they're kind of relatively thin noodles. They, they taste nice. All of the soup tastes nice, but is it really memorable? And I think that's where I'm really struggling with this. I would be very happy to recommend this noodle, especially given the 85p price point, no problem at all. But if this wasn't on the shelf anymore, other than the kind of really nice packaging that I would probably miss, would I really be upset if they stopped making this noodle and it wasn't on the shelf anymore? I don't think there's anything that this delivers that is so unique that I would really, really be upset if it wasn't there. So I think if you're looking for a good quality, fragrant, spicy beef noodle, I would definitely pick this one up and give it a go. Happy to recommend it, but I don't think this is going to be something that I would want to eat every single day. It's not something I'm going to dream about, and I don't think it's something that I would miss if it was no longer on the shelf. So all in all, that was a really solid noodle that I'd be very happy to recommend at 85p in particular. Really, really great value. So for me, all in all, that's a three out of five. Let me know in the comments if you agree or if you disagree, or if you have any inside information on how this was supposed to be cooked. That would be really good to know. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.